Here my original thought was to paint in the column of a destroyed bridge but quickly decided to add another island instead. Once again I created a shape using a lasso and then started adding, adding low contrast texture using different brushes. When you look at any rock, it isn't a simple one color but a variation of different hues. Now that I have a base, I'm moving to midtones and highlights. You'll see me here use a brush that I created specifically for the grass and although it looks good, I felt like it wasn't matching with the original foliage so I scrapped that idea and used the same brushes and techniques as before. Make sure to always stay consistent with style and objects you place in your art. This will make it more of a complete piece rather than just a collage. I moved the island to the right to create more space in between. This immediately removed the feeling of everything cluttered in one spot and I've added a few little islands around it and behind. I've used the same techniques as previously showed to create these islands. To show that these islands are at a distance, colors need to be less saturated and lower contrast between highlights and shadows. You also want to include the color of the sky. This creates atmospheric perspective. Looking at the image, the water is darker in the foreground and lighter as it goes towards the horizon. Of course, there are some reflections that happen here and there. I'm adding much darker areas underneath the island to show some reflection of the rocks. I'm also playing with layer settings by changing it to screen mode to add more of a glowing property. I also wanted to indicate the tiny waves and sparkles by using a water brush created by Aaron Blaze. I don't want to spend too much time on the water since that isn't my focal point. In the last video, I'm gonna focus on the sky, clouds and the castle itself. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.